Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Right now I'm standing in front of four rugs that I did today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I finished them with five super easy steps. My name is Autumn and let's get started. The very first step in this process is going to be gluing the backs of the rugs. But as you can see before I start this, I like to remove any excess yarn that's sticking out. This will make gluing the rug much, much easier and will avoid you know, any extra bumps. After cleaning the rugs up, I take a generous amount of glue and start by applying it to the outer edges and work my way to the center. Don't be afraid to get glue outside of where you've tufted. This will not in any way affect the rug when you end up you know, cutting it out. So I just finished my first rug. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you guys what rug backing I use. I use um, non-skid rug backing by Fiberlock and then I use a cheap plastic spatula from Home Depot. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish the other three and I'll show you guys the results. So I've already done my first rug and now I'm working on my second one. And again, I'm making sure to glue starting from the outside, going in, making sure to get glue in all of those spaces between where I've tufted. If you're looking for a cheaper option when buying your glue, I've tried this Robert's Carpet Adhesive from Home Depot. It's around $40 and it works perfectly fine. The only difference is that it stays tacky and does not dry hard like the Fiberlock glue, which is around $70 and currently out of stock. Either way, the tackiness does not matter because you will be applying a backing to the rug. Other than that, they are both great glues. I just prefer the Fiberlock because it dries hard and just makes it feel way more secure. Before we move to the second step, I just wanted to quickly show you guys my tufting gun. If you're looking for one, I do sell these on my website, rugbabe.com. So now we're at the second step of our rug finishing process. It usually takes around eight hours for the glue to completely dry, but I've waited a full 24. As you can see, the rug is um, dry and hard. It should no longer be tacky, and that's when you know that you're ready to cut the rug out. I'm going to be using a normal box cutter from Walmart, nothing special. I'm gonna start at the top and stay about one to two inches away from the outline and drag my box cutter. You need to at least give yourself half an inch because you will have to glue the edges at a later step. Other than that, just keep the tension in the fabric and the knife will easily cut right through it. I do struggle a little at the end because there was no tension left in the fabric seeing as I cut most of the rug out. But yeah, this is the rug fully cut out. I wanted to show you me cutting out the Among Us rug too, which was a bit easier as it was smaller. It doesn't have to be a perfect cut. You can always use a pair of scissors and remove any extra fabric. This is just a rough cut. But yeah, this is what this one looks like too. So I've just finished cutting out my rugs and we're at the third step in our rug finishing process. I just wanted to quickly show you guys what materials you'll be needing. I'm gonna be using a hot glue gun. I bought this one at Home Depot as well as the glue sticks, a pair of fabric scissors, and then for our backing, we're gonna be using felt and I got mine at Joann's. The third step is gonna be hot gluing your rugs edges. But before we do that, we have to clean it up a little bit. I take my fabric scissors and cut the cloth towards the edge of the rug in certain areas so that when I glue the edges down, it will fold in much easier. I also cut off any extra remaining cloth that isn't necessary. I want the outer cloth to be roughly an inch, like I mentioned earlier. This will give me enough room to, you know, hot glue it. So this is pretty standard. I just wait for the gun to heat up and then start applying the glue close to the edge. I then fold over the fabric and hold it down for a few seconds, trying not to burn off my fingerprints before letting go. I pretty much just repeat this process for the rest of the edges. If you're barely starting out and are interested in making rugs, let me just be the first to tell you it's not as easy as it looks. When I first started out, I underestimated how long it would take me from start to finish to complete a rug. My first rug took me about a week before finishing it, and now it takes me around two days. All I'm saying is don't let this deter you from starting. There is plenty of trial and error before you can get really good and can do them much faster as I'm sure is the case with any project you take on. So I finished hot gluing both of the rugs. This is what the Among Us guy looks like from the other side. It looks pretty cool, looks almost done. We just need those last two steps. 
and here's the second rug as well. We are now at our fourth step, which is applying our backing to our rugs. With the fabric scissors, I'm gonna be cutting out a rough outline of the rug. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just try not to leave too much extra felt. After cutting it out and flipping it over, this is what it should look like. Now you're going to need some clips and some fabric scissors and some kind of spray adhesive. I use this Gorilla Heavy Duty one. I then clip down the top part of the felt to the rug. I do this so that when I'm gluing the felt to the rug, it's not moving. I pretty much just spray both the back of the rug and the felt and use my hands to press the felt down to the rug until it sticks evenly. I spray the rug in sections, that way I don't let the glue dry. And speaking of glue, this bottle cost me around seven or eight dollars and only lasted me for two two foot rugs. So I had to buy several of these. I'm sure there are other brands that are cheaper and would work just as great, but I wanted to include the price because it was one of the few expenses that honestly took me by surprise when making my rugs from start to finish. The felt I'm using was $4 per yard and I got it at Joann's. When you're buying your materials from, say, at Joann's and Michael's, I would really suggest you download their apps and sign up for accounts because they honestly have a lot of great coupons. When I bought my felt, Joann's had a 60% off coupon for one item, and if you bought several yards of felt, it counted as one item. So I purchased 10 yards of felt, which should have been like around $40, plus that 60% off, and my total was like $16, plus taxes, of course. So just really take advantage of those coupons, as well as Michael's, which seems to always have buy one, get one yarn in their stores, at least where I live. Now that I'm done gluing the felt down, I'm gonna take my scissors and cut off that excess felt from the rug as good as I can to make it look as nice as possible. After cutting off all that extra felt, I'm gonna go in one last time with my hot glue gun and glue down the parts that the spray adhesive did not get. To make sure my edges are completely secure, I just go ahead and I hot glue them but you can use the spray adhesive, which will work just fine. I just like to take that extra measure, seeing as people will be stepping on them and I, I, I don't want the felt to peel back. So we finally made it to the fifth and final stage, which is gonna consist of shaving the rugs and I will be using this Beetro Sheep Shaver, which I ordered from Amazon. So this is my rug after I hot glued all the edges. And this is the sheep wool shaver by Beetro. It has a speed dial and an on and off button. I bought it for around $90 and it works really great. Um, I originally used a hair clipper, which I don't know why I thought that would work, but hey, now we're here and this thing shaves the rugs like nothing. Um, I shave it in long strips, trying to keep the clipper at the same level. That way I don't have like any dips. But yeah, if you've made it this far in the video, I just want to let you know to keep going, keep watching more videos after mine. It's not hard, it just takes some research. I'm honestly really happy with the amount of information that's out there on tufting now. When I first started, there was only a few videos and by like super big names that, you know, didn't tell you as much as like there is now. I looked everywhere for tuffing videos and all I found was super old videos from Asia that were like in a different language, but you know, I still watched them to try to learn as much as possible about, you know, how to make rugs and what I needed. It's just funny to like look back to, you know, half a year ago now. But yeah, even if you're not into tufting and you're just watching my videos for fun and you have that one thing you want to start doing, just do it, you know? Stop giving yourself caveats, stop making excuses, just do that thing today. But yeah, that was my pep talk and we're almost done and I honestly can't wait to show you guys. So that's it, we're finally done. After I finished shaving them, I gave them a quick vacuum and this is the final product. I hope you guys found this video super helpful. If you guys have any questions at all, make sure to leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.